Hello YouTube, St. Bob here of St. Bob's YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a very quick uh, tutorial just to show you guys out there um, how to scavenge and get certain items from scavenging. Um, so the first thing that you need to do in order to start scavenging is um, you need to actually locate a scavenge pile, uh, a junk pile, sorry. Um, and it's quite a way away from my camp um, so uh, it's took me about 10 minutes to walk here um, and uh, so I'm just going to show you how to, how to do this very quickly all you need to do is you need to walk onto the mound anywhere is fine it doesn't really matter but there are certain areas um, of the mound that will hold certain uh, materials now you can't actually tell that by visually looking at it but you just need to walk around uh, whilst with your resources button is open your resources tab uh, and you will see what's available to scavenge uh, where you're stood on and as you walk around uh, you can actually see hopefully that it's going to change and it should do because I would like to have some metal but metal is quite a hard resource to find at the moment because everything seems to require metal to do anything with so Okay, let's just do what we've uh, let's do the tutorial with what we've got available. Here we go. Oh, metal. Good timing. Right. So you've walked around. You've found here on the resources tab that there's that you can try and find cloth, scrap uh, some cloth, get some scrap metal, and get some scrap plastic. Um, so let's go with some scrap metal. Let's open our inventory just so we've got it there and we can actually see what's. Uh, let's put that over there like that and uh, let's right click on scrap metal and you'll see you go down and you start putting things onto your back there we go and there you see uh, it's put the item on my back now you can see the scrap metal there and you can now stack this four times now you can't go one uh, one unit of metal then go one unit of plastic it's all got to be a stack of four of the same item. It won't, it won't allow you to do that. You do not have room for that because obviously you can only have one one item, uh, one type of resource on your back at one time. Um, so let's just go and get four pieces. Uh, let's open our packs because this is where we can see how many stacks we've got on our back slot. So we've got three now. Let's do one more and get four. And you'll see now it's picking all the pipes and different scrap metal up out of that. And there we go, we've got a full pack now. We can't actually get any more than that. It won't allow you to pick any more and the resources disappear from that point as well. Um, so now what we need to do in, to actually make any use of this scrap metal is sorting it out. So in the packs section here, uh, you'll notice that that's where it is and it's not in your backpack. You need to right click on, uh, right -click on your scrap metal. Um, and you'll see sort. So sort that. So left click on it and it'll now count down and sort. And it'll now put what it's found in your backpack. Um, and obviously the stack has now gone down to three. So you see from there I got, I didn't get 40 nails, I already had some nails in there. I think I got four nails from that. I had 36 before. Um, so I got four nails from that sorting. I got uh, one metal spike and one steel wedge from that. So let's right click again and let's do this very quickly. And there we go. I got one metal sheet, one uh, steel screw, and one steel bolt. Oh, and also an iron wedge. So let's do that again. And uh, we got another metal spike, uh, a metal rod, a large metal sheet, another steel bolt, and I think that's about all we got from that one. And the last one, there we go, we've got another steel screw, another uh, metal spike and we've got one small metal sheet. Uh, now you can keep on doing this, uh, I would bear in mind, uh, I'd just quickly tell you that um, if you do start doing this and you want to try and get as much as you can, watch your weight because it will become very apparent that you can't move once you're full. Um, also try your best to stack any sort of large items like uh, metal sheets um, things like that in no bigger stacks of 10 purely for the fact that anything higher than that um, and at the moment during the game you can't actually break the stacks down so anything higher than 10 really takes up a lot of weight 
um, so I just keep it down as, as 10 and, and I think that's quite quite okay for, for now. Um, so that's everything I need to need to show with scavenging. Um, scavenging for any items on here is exactly the same as what I've just showed you. So scrap leather and scrap cloth is exactly the same. There's no, no difference in it at all. Once you've got it on your back, just right click um, and sort it and it'll put it into your inventory. And then you can craft any sort of stuff that you need uh, from the materials you've found. So that's all I need to, to say on that. Um, thanks very much for watching. There'll be more videos coming um, in, in the near future. Um, so any questions, queries or requests, then please post them on the, the YouTube channel. Um, and uh, that's, uh, that's me done. St. Bob, signing out.